Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'll be going over the bio of 838 Stephen Strange, just like I did with Defender Strange. Links to those videos and related videos are in the description below. Now, 838 Doctor Strange apparently had a history more or less similar than his Earth 616 counterpart. Stephen, Dre Stephen, Str Stephen Strange trained in mystic arts and later, unlike 616 Doctor Strange, received the title of Sorcerer Supreme. He also, on this Earth, became friends with Carl Mordo. Also, it looks like for some unknown reason, he doesn't bear the eye of Agamotto. Also, just like his other counterparts, he didn't really hit it off with Christine Palmer. It appears that 838 didn't have, as far as we know, an Avengers team or an X-Men team. We do know that Doctor Strange founded the Illuminati to protect his reality from threats, who, who would be joined by Professor X, Captain Carter, Mr. Fantastic, uh, Captain Marvel and Black Bolt. Therefore, it's possible due to some of these characters that there was indeed an X-Men and a, fat a Fantastic Four as well as in humans. Also in this reality, it's uncertain if Tony Stark created the successful Ultron bots or, Mr. Fan or it was the job of Mr. Fantastic, who is said to be the smartest man of Earth 838, even though he did blabber to wonder about Black Bolt's superpower. Okay, <laughs> we won't go into that. I'll play nice. After learning of Thanos' impending invasion of the Earth, Strange used the Darkhold to search through the multiverse for a possible solution to the conflict via dreamwalking. However, pardon me, this triggered an incursion between two universes, destroying one of them. The incident killed trillions. After going, after going alone, as it were, when that went wrong, he then rejoined the Illuminati and helped them find the Book of Vishanti and used it to defeat Thanos and kill him. Pardon me? It's also, it's also interesting to, notice, to note that Thanos of this universe only acquired five of the Infinity Stones. Strange revealed to his companions what he had done Pardon me? And they all agreed that he possessed a threat to the universe due to his corruption by the Darkhold. So he was willingly executed by Black Bolt, who received instructions from the rest of the Illuminati. It hit them all hard, especially his executioner, Black Bolt. After his death, the mantle of Sorcerer Supreme was given to Carl Mordo, who also took his place among the Illuminati. The Illuminati made a difficult decision to save his name from being tarnished. They kept the detail of what happened a secret from the public and resurrected a statue in um, Dr. Strange's honour just outside the New York Sanctum. And there you have it, Supreme Strange from Earth 838. Did he deserve the death penalty? After all, we've all seen Avengers have a second chance. But what we've seen, he may have been, he may have gone insane, um, like says Strange, if he was left unchecked. Although surely if Professor X gave Jean Grey a second chance, surely with his help, he could have rehabilitated Doctor Strange and found some other penance for him. Who knows? What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. <clears throat> if you like this video, hit the like. And if you're new to the channel, then please, please subscribe because it'd be great to have you here. And so until the next video, take care and be well.